Hey there, Allison with EverydayShortcuts.com. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday. It's been one of those days. You know how Mondays are and I kind of need a pick me up. So I thought let's make the Starbucks brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. It's just we need one of those badly and it sounds delicious. Um, I've never made it before, so I'm just going to kind of wing this um, and see how it goes. So I went on the Starbucks website just to see what ingredients they use to make their brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. And what they use is Starbucks blonde espresso roast, brown sugar, cinnamon, oat milk, and I'm gonna make um, an iced one. So I added ice to a mason drinking jar. Um, you could also have it hot if you wanted to. And then we need to shake it somehow. Some people just can shake it like in a mason jar if you want to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just use my little drink mixer and shake it in there. So let's get started in making this recipe. To get started, you need to brew two shots of Blonde Espresso. The Starbucks brand is what I'm going to use. Um, this is the Nespresso um, kind. I don't know if they, they may make the ones for Keurig, I'm not sure. Um, but I use the Instant Pod coffee maker and it can make either the Keurig one or the Nespresso one. <music> Okay, so now we want to go ahead and shake this. So we are going to add to our shaker, we're going to add the Blonde Espresso, and then we're going to add the brown sugar, and we're doing two shots of espresso and two tablespoons of brown sugar and half teaspoon of cinnamon and then we're going to go ahead and put our lid on and we are just going to shake it together okay I take that back I am not going to use a shaker this is why I never became a bartender I just made a mess everywhere so I just went ahead and put the lid on this and I'm just going to shake it right in here it makes it easy it is not going to spill unlike my other mess here we're just going to give it a good shake and then it should be ready to go here okay so that's what it looks like after it's been shaken i'll tell you it smells really good so next we need to do the next couple steps and it'll be ready to enjoy Okay, the next step is to add your ice if you wanted to make it an iced coffee. And then the final step is to add a half cup of oat milk to the top. And then you'll get that delicious, like most beautiful looking coffee ever. It's so delicious. And then you add your straw and then you can enjoy. Thank you. 